Bags and major and eight, eight member, eight dance team members and 92 musicians. And you know, obviously, from Louisiana, they're going to be at Mardi Gras. Oh yeah. Check yes. this out. They were named the most outstanding band at Mardi Gras. Get I out bet of they here. Come good on, time. Really? Well, doing, that's some right. serious competition. <laughs> you got to be really good to be the best at a Mardi Gras, particularly this band in New Orleans. In particular, personifies what Dr. King stood for. Uh, the band is 50 percent white, 50 percent black, and they feel that this is. One of the reasons they're together, it symbolizes the racial equality that Dr. King promoted. Yes, indeed, and I can applaud that. And uh, Bullshit, let me just say, I say amen to that. All right, all right, okay. That is Johnson, is the director of this band. Two years ago, this band had only 25 members. This year, it has 115. Next year, they expect to expand to 160. How about that? That means they're getting a lot of community support. But more than that, the talented young people in the community want to become a part of this band. So that they can, uh, they can share their joy, their music, their hope, their future with America. You mentioned school closings. Here's an example of schools consolidating. Mm -hmm. The financial crunch is so strong. Obviously, the kids need to be involved in curricular activities, things outside of the classroom, playing oh, yeah. sports, We need to make sure certain that the schools are open beyond 2.30 or 3 o'clock, because one of the most important parts of my high school days were participating in extracurricular activities. And sometimes these students, by the way, have to go through an awful lot of changes in order to raise the money, mm -hmm. in order to, to travel. The uniforms are so wonderful, too. To be here, to get their uniforms. They're not all just, you know, independently funded. Exactly. Privately funded. Sometimes, uh, and they're certainly not publicly funded. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that will change in the next four to eight, maybe 12 years. Yeah. Happy birthday to you, Beauchene yes. High School. They're saying happy birthday to Dr. King. His 64th birthday celebration here in Atlanta. Martin Luther King National Holiday Parade. I'm Clifton Davis. This is Nancy Wilson. We're just having a great time. Coming up for you is the Southwest Hospital carriage. Just a moment. The King Center, you're so involved, Nancy, of course, the King Center. Where do we go from here? Is it yes, a big slogan? That's what people want to think I'm about. Hoping, I think that today, and this week especially, with the um, incoming president, like, uh, hopefully things will get better. Well, we've got healing that needs to be done in the city of Los Angeles and then I obviously in various other cities around this, the world. When I read the